with regards to um, a crossing fingers, crossing fingers, and whether this is something permissible or not. There is a hadith which is collected by Imam Ahmad and Abu Dawood and Tirmidhi and narrated by Ka'b ibn Ujara. May Allah be pleased with him. He said that, uh, that if somebody, the Prophet ﷺ narrated that if somebody made wudu perfectly and he is going to the masjid, he should not cross his fingers until he prays. Which means it is disliked to cross fingers. And I will tell you some reasons. But after the prayer, it is perfectly okay to cross fingers whether in the masjid or outside the masjid. But would that invalidate the wudu? No, it has nothing to do with voiding the wudu. Basically, the habit of crossing fingers normally happens when the person is sitting in the masjid, either waiting for the prayer between the adhan and the iqamah, or attending the khutbah. So they sit a sitting which is known as al ihtiba in Arabic, where the person would raise his knees, sitting on the floor, then he would bury his head between his legs, and lower his head like this. And he would be holding his legs with his hands crossing fingers. That would lead to, one thing would lead to another, would lead to the person may take a nap, or a slumber will overtake him. And as a result, the person may pass wind unknowingly. And as a result, his wudu may be, may be void. And accordingly, the prayer will be void. So this sitting is forbidden during uh, the prayer. After the prayer, if you want to do uh, cross fingers, the Prophet ﷺ did cross fingers after uh, giving the speech and after uh, the prayer. But it would not simply invalidate the wudu because of just uh, crossing uh, the fingers.